Let me start by saying for those of you who are handling Mal McDonald's Malaysia's social media platforms. So how do we come to this situation right now? How did we arrive at a situation where a lot of people are so angry at McDonald's just because of a birthday cake? So a few days ago, McDonald's says that uh, they will not, they confirmed that they have a policy now restricting customers from bringing bringing in non-halal cake into their premises, mm -hmm. all of their premises uh, in Malaysia. And that naturally led, led to an uproar in Malaysia. And a lot of people were so passionate about this issue, like, I can't bring in my cakes. I, why? I need to bring in non-halal cakes into your premises. The comments just didn't make sense. I saw comments that says, uh, uh, McDonald's is crazy. Uh, my money is non-halal because my hands I touch poke and therefore if I touch poke my money now has poke and I'm going to bring that money to McDonald's and therefore it's non-halal it's just so ridiculous really all, all of these comments that are coming out from Malaysians about this whole issue is just ridiculous here are some of the comments have a look for yourself now let me state that the, the main reason I'm creating this video is actually to get your opinion uh, what do you think about this whole issue and obviously, this being my video, I have my own opinion and thoughts. So I'm going to think it out loud. Number one, why now? Why after all these years of McDonald's in Malaysia, do we have this policy of halal and non-halal cakes right now in 2000, late 2016, early 2017? Secondly, this question I've heard a lot, not, not, not even a question. This was a statement done by people on Facebook. They said, McDonald's is racist. How, how is McDonald's racist? Halal or non-halal has got to do with religious belief. There's Chinese Muslims, there's Indian Muslims, there's all kinds of Muslims in this world. So how does how does McDonald's not wanting not allowing you to bring non-halal cakes make them racist? I don't understand. They are not targeting a particular race just because you can't bring in halal cakes. It just, just, it just doesn't make, I mean, it's 2017, you would think so. Ah. Number three, of all the people complaining about uh, McDonald's and the new policy, my question to them is, if you are one of them, is that, have you ever celebrated your birthday in McDonald's? And how is this, if you have celebrated your birthday in McDonald's, how is this new policy going to affect you? Is it going to destroy your life? Is it going to uh, make your life much more difficult that you can't accomplish anything and you'll be retarded somehow that you can't celebrate your birthday in McDonald's? Now, you must get this straight. I'm, I'm not for McDonald's. I'm just I'm just thinking on the bigger picture here. I eat non-halal stuff every time. So that's not the issue here. My, my main concern is me, especially a non-halal eating guy, I don't find this a big issue and I don't know how people can take this and blow it out of proportion does i mean in all of malaysia is mcdonald's the only place for you to celebrate your birthday you're telling me in this beautiful land of ours that mcdonald's is the only place that you can spend your time your money and bring your cakes to that premises and if it's anywhere else you won't have such a nice birthday and it's all gone the fourth thing that I'm thinking out aloud is how is McDonald's going to implement this in all their premises? Uh, I, I do know they do have uh, uh, pre-arranged birthday parties that you can have mostly for your kids. Uh, you can tell them how many people are coming, you can make your pre-orders and then they'll prepare for you the place, you can book a spot, they have balloons and all those kind of things. But what if it's just two or three people, two or three friends, good close friends bringing in the cake, are they going to have like uh, somebody monitoring all of this and uh, if somebody brings in the cake and the cleaner at McDonald's sees and it's like shit it's a cake <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that's going to be the issue I think uh, it's just a broad disclaimer that uh, you're not allowed to bring in but I don't think they're going to check you one by one as you enter McDonald's whether you're bringing in the cake or not and you would think that people will use social media platform to to unite, to bring people together, to do great things, but yet it's just dividing us day by day because we are allowing it and we want it to happen, 
because there's no give and take. I would like to hear your thoughts on this. Before I say goodbye, do you know who are the best people in Malaysia right now regarding this uh, McDonald's issue? It's the Indians. For years, they have been entering the McDonald's premises. They look up at the menu, they see beef burger. They don't make a lot of fuss. They order their chicken burgers, their nuggets, their ice cream. They have a nice time with the family and they leave. That's it. I mean, if anybody deserves to make noise, it's probably them. Seriously. So, tell me your thoughts. What do you think about this whole McDonald's not allowing cakes? I know some people who are home bakers, I really do pity you. Uh, because a lot of these complaints are coming that if I'm a home baker and I'm making cakes and people cannot bring it into McDonald's, how? How? So my question to you is, if your whole business is modeled around people buying your cakes and going to McDonald's, you should actually get a new business because you're never going to succeed if that is your demographic, people who bring in cakes to McDonald's. You should focus outside a bit more. So let me hear from you. What are your thoughts on this whole issue? Thanks for watching. Bye.